that the prophecy is about children of the rainbow or warriors of the rainbow and uh, they're here and these ones are children of action peaceful action they will not sit around and talk and, and, and do politics and talk and, and uh, try to <coughs> try to change your mind to, to make their to fit their mind no these will be here to to unite the world you know so probably a lot of them will lose their lives because of that you know but they will win at the end of the day the creator has protected them and the children of the warrior children, warriors of the rainbow is what's happening right now so the rainbow the symbol of the rainbow is the eternal is the symbol of the eternal covenant that the creator has with humanity because the creator put the rainbow in the sky after after the great flood okay so that rainbow now appears so every time you see that rainbow that rainbow is about unity okay and uh, double rainbows are even more powerful but um, the rainbow is a symbol of the creator's eternal covenant with humanity meaning that it can be personal so when you see a rainbow most people see a rainbow when i see a rainbow i say okay what's going on and i look around and say oh this happened today so i got to go in that direction but most people see a rainbow and oh, that's a pretty rainbow. So on pictures and the whole thing, but that's actually a message to every human being that what they're going through at that particular moment of time in their life. It's saying it's time for you to change. Constantly, the rainbow is about change, and it takes the four elements to create a rainbow. You know, all four of them: the the the, the water, the, the you know fire. The, um, the air and the, and, uh, the earth. Without, without that, you don't have a rainbow. So, so when I see a rainbow, I automatically look around and say, okay, what's going on? And all of a sudden, maybe somebody else may pop up in my life. And then, and I might be even talking to that person and that happened right here. Uh, uh, and I said, um, I think you're probably one of those rainbow children, you know, to come over and visit me. And so she kind of laughed and, you know, and uh, so then we went outside of my sister's place and there's a rainbow sitting right there, you know. And she says, whoa, whoa. And, uh, and she didn't really believe in the creator, she went, but now she does, which is, was one step you know, one step in that direction. So her journey here was a success, you know, so now she carries the rainbow in her heart. Okay, so the rainbow is, is personal, but it also can be global. There's a global meaning to it, you know, and, and uh, but, it, but, that, but that covenant between, the eternal covenant between you as a person or the human race is always mutual. And the creator will always keep his end of the deal. Humanity keeps breaking it, you know. But eventually we'll get it, where we will we'll honor that. So that's what the rainbow is all about. It's a reminder of, of the different colors, unity, you know. You know, so, um, yeah, and I think that, um, I'm, I, you know, I say to people, Yes, we're going to go through a tough time. I'm going to tell you that. I'm not going to say, oh, you know, we can, we can save the earth or save this. We cannot save the earth. Humanity doesn't have the power to save anything. They can't even save themselves right now, right? <laughs> you know, but and, and so when you hear a politician say, we're going to do this and do this and do that to save the earth. No, the only one that can save the earth is the creator. But the Creator is going to cleanse the earth first. And then His children, the ones that are coming, will bring it back into, into harmony. And those children will be born and they're being born. 
And uh, you see some of them today and they're killed at a very young age, you know, maybe through a shooting in a school or, but that, and then they hold, they, they, they say to you, that's not the way to live, you know, but they're killed for that, right? And, uh, you know, so, um, so the, those children are here and, and they're, they're being born all the time. And they have a, we're all children of the rainbow, but our rainbow, a lot of rainbows got pretty dark along the way, right? But some of us maintain it, so I maintained the rainbow in my life, in the, in the way I view the world. Okay, I listen to the rainbow when the Creator sends a rainbow, you know? And then I, I've never left this territory, but 18 people came to visit me and every one of them received the rainbow. Every one of them. And I haven't even left Lawlat. And uh, so up, up here, I call this the grandfather's tree. And what happened to that one was basically, there was a prophecy that the tree, trees would turn red. And the trees turned red here, just in this section, you know. And so what you see here is trees that are left. And it used to be quite a tree area. You could not see in here if you're driving on the highway for the trees. Mm -hmm. Now you see very clearly, right? So we call, I call this the grandfather tree. And it was so tall that uh, eventually when it, when it turned red, it just, the wind just, wind just blew it over. But this up here is Hunam. This is the Medicine Mountain. Okay, that's where the uh, Shwanams went to train for seven years and uh, they didn't bring anything with them. They survived up there for seven years and uh, mm -hmm. to get their spiritual gift of healing. Okay, this is not, there's two types of medicine people. There's a medicine people for clients and then there's the medicine people, the medicine people that do spiritual work, which is the ones that come, go up there to train for seven years. And uh, very, very powerful when they came back down, eh? And if you're up there and you didn't, didn't have the gift, uh, basically you had to come down because mm -hmm. you wouldn't survive. Mm -hmm. Okay, but those that survived did have the gift and they came down and shared their gift with the people. Mm -hmm. And then of course the Catholics came along and said that was devil's work and all this kind of stuff, eh?